my good people welcome back to the channel today we have a very awesome car here we have the honda step wagon or we call it honda spada a very nice uh seven seater family car that beats the like of toyota boxy toyota nawa toyota e square and maybe nissan serena those are the chief competitors to this car here so the asking price for this car is 2.7 million shillings and it is negotiable the other ones like noah and voxy the prices starts at 2.5 million shillings and of course there is a reason why this car is a little bit higher than the rest let us start from the back you can already see that the back uh, the design looks very very different from noah and the voxy one thing that is eye-catching is the spoiler on the top section you can see how large the spoiler is it looks very very good and then it somehow slides in to merge with this brake light here at the top part of uh, uh, the spoiler okay you can also notice that this door has this split element here you can open this uh, tailgate in two ways you can open it to the side or you can open it uh, as a whole okay now we have very good taillights here the design of the taillights is amazing you have full led taillights except the turn signals which still uses the bulb technology okay on the lower section you have your reflectors over there with more plastic cladding to add on the aesthetic value and then also you have this rear fender here that looks very subtle but uh, to me it looks very very beautiful you have chrome finishing here that is split at the middle uh, to allow those doors to open very well you have the spada that is the trim and then you have the model which is honda step wagon plus the honda emblem here so i'll open it from the back so that you see how it opens now you have this handle here you see how your hand fits into it perfectly you can open it as a as a swing door like this from the back you see how high it opens all the way to the lower section and on the lower side of this car you have these paddle lights that uh, shows you that the door is open and also at night it helps to illuminate this area here you also get this boot space here that is very large you get very large boot space here on the inside and you also have a handle here sour sour now if you don't want to open yeah you get a very nice sounding engine here you see that's uh at least you're getting some liquid from the exhaust i think that's the fluid from the s's a very powerful car right here now if you don't want to open the tailgate in that way you can open it uh using this split here of course i can't open it all the way because we have this car here itagonga yogari so that's how it opens you can split it or open it this way this side i could have opened it completely for you to see it sour, sour. now let me show you the interior you have two sliding doors we have one on the right one on the left and then you have two swing doors one for the driver and one for the front passenger sour, sour. now let me show you the inside or let me start from the front of these units the front looks good you see from the side profile it looks quite amazing you see these led headlights over here there's a noisy bike somewhere here you have these uh, very nice looking headlights you have your turn signals over there daytime running lights this one here and then you have uh, your projector headlights so you have two daytime running lights you have one here another one here and then you have more on the grill this one is very very beautiful you have a 1500cc engine right here very nice and easy it gives you power to move your family efficiently uh, over long distances and then you have uh, this technology called earth dreams technology with a vtec turbo engine sour sour very nice personally i think it is one of the best family cars that you can get in addition you have your fog lights here on the front section with more chrome finishing to add on the aesthetic value i wish you could see this car from a larger or a greater distance so that you get at least to see how the front look like uh, unfortunately this car is parked somewhere tight so you can't really see all that space we have very nice looking alloys here with the disc brakes on the inside with some nice calipers over there these tires are um, 16 inch but of course you can use all the way up to around 17 or 18 but you can't go all that way the side profile is nice it looks amazing you have this side cut here to improve on aesthetic value but of course it compromises on the ground clearance you have these reflectors over here you have uh, turn signals with side mirrors on them chrome plated door handles and of course it is a keyless entry 
you have these electric doors as soon as you push it uh, this door opens and goes all the way to the back section now this is where most people would want to see this is where your family will be uh, if you have a family of seven they can sit comfortably inside this car here on the middle row you have two seats you have these center seats here which has a uh, armrest for maximum comfort two passengers can sit here comfortably if you want to go into the back side you can fold these seats or you can use this space here you can go through here then you go all the way to the back but if you are lazy and you don't want to go that way then you can easily fold these seats here and then just push it yeah push it to the front like that so you fold that seat and pull that lever the seats move forward and now you can get in to the back section of this unit here it looks really really beautiful you see these seats here they are quite comfortable uh, over long distances you can sit there properly look at this no complaints at all it feels very very comfortable inside here you have some accessories for the backside passengers you have a 12 volt output some camp holding spaces over here some more camp holding spaces on that side and then you have uh, your boot space there at least to add on a few things now if you sit back here you can easily pull these seats at the back using this uh, pull over here or you can use this stuff here to lock that seat over there so you push this one to fold the seats and then you can now push it to the front like that okay yeah so once you pull that you can easily push the seats yeah. to the front now on the front section you have these nice looking seats here these are the captain's captain like seats on the front and uh, if you're going to sit somewhere here uh, let's say you sit here you have these seats which has a tray at the back for you to put maybe your laptop uh, your cup holders on this side to enjoy your drink you have some pockets pockets here for you to put a few things maybe your phone on the top side you have your infotainment system which is of course controlled from the driver section you have a C controller over here to control the air supply to the back side additional lights air vents and uh, your spaces to hold on to now let me show you the front side uh, you have this nice door here that looks amazing you can see from uh, the first impression it looks good you have this fabric finishing with has which has purple finishing over here center console to control all your windows and uh, side mirrors from here door handles look good storage compartments we have uh, more storage here on the lower section and additional storage on this section here plus your speaker now the cockpit is where all the magic happens you have a number of things that you can use here starting from this side you have a uh, lane departure warning traction control precondition monitoring system you have your cup holding space over here which is heated and cooled you see this button here you have your econ button you can open your doors both uh, both sliding doors using these buttons here and then you can lock it using this uh, stuff right here i love the finishing here and also this part has very nice finishing you see the dash has this piano black finishing with chrome brush chrome finishing over there and then the steering wheel also looks very very good look at this steering wheel it looks amazing uh control for the infotainment system and then you have your cruise control setup right here and uh, additional features like these paddle shifters over here headlight controllers and controls for the wipers and all that your clusters will appear here uh, of course they have gone for the digital clusters over there this is your rpm meter it's uh, on a what do we call it a vertical line and then you have the oh it, this one is horizontal sorry and then you have these uh, speedometer which will show you here and then your fuel gauge and uh, all your notification also will appear here you see the mileage is 135,000. okay now these are very nice looking steering wheel in addition to that we have these ac vents over here that gives very powerful uh, air supply you have your infotainment system this is pretty new you see you have these seals over here the infotainment system looks really really amazing sour sour your hazard button push to start more spaces here to put some of your accessories you can put your phone your passengers can put some of their things there a number of controls and then you have this center console here that has your gear lever controls for the ac of course the notification for the ac will show up here and then you have power outlets you have a 12 volt output uh, cup holders for the passenger over here 
uh, more storage on the lower section you have this tray that comes uh, out very nicely a deep storage space over there and then you have additional shelves for you to store a number of things the dash looks amazing more storage on the top part and then on the lower section you have this storage compartment or glove compartment that looks really nice on this side uh, the passenger door look sorry the passenger door looks exactly as the driver's door minus the controls and then you have this leather seat for the passenger of course with an armrest you have one here the other one is on the door and then you have this leather headrest with a mix of leather and fabric on the seats okay the driver also gets uh, this leather seat that has fabric finishing for easy heating and cooling and then you have these manually adjustable seats for the driver your pedals are on the lower section but of course that's no issue at all sour sour yeah so i think that's all about this honda step wagon it looks really really nice you see these seats they look amazing all those features look amazing sour sour so you pull this uh, chrome plated door handles and your door closes very well the interior looks amazing i love it you have this part here uh, which allows the driver to see more uh, from this blind spot over here a very nice looking engine this is your engine bay it, uh, it holds your engine your 1500 cc uh, engine over here all at on a Honda engines are honda this could be a very nice car for you so so if you're interested in buying this particular car the price starts at 2.7 million shillings and of course you can still negotiate for more uh for more uh, for a better price okay so till the next time guys uh we can call it a day see you in the next video and uh, kindly subscribe to the channel this is what they trading see you in the next one thank you so much guys